Okay, good morning and welcome to today's committee and education vote on introduction numbers 2426A and 2427A, both sponsored by myself. The bills focus on the number of COVID cases broken out by student, teacher, staff, and administrator for each school, and the percentage of vaccinated persons broken out by student, teacher, staff, and administrator for each school, and require DOE to report on school attendance, vaccination, testing consent, and quarantine data. Since May of 2020, this committee has exclusively focused on COVID-19's impact on our education system. We focused our efforts on areas of the pandemic's impact with each hearing leading to this one. We looked at the switch to remote learning last spring. We examined the delay to the 2020-2021 school year. We focused on the overall health and safety of reopening our school system. We looked at the impact on students with disabilities. We held a hearing on social emotional learning and support staff in schools. And we looked at the impact of the pandemic on childcare in New York City. Each hearing led to today, the impact of COVID-19 on student learning and academic achievement. Each hearing provided deeper insight for this committee on the challenges and problems facing our students, families, teachers, and school leaders. And lately, at each, at each hearing, my requests for data have been met with muddled answers and unsatisfactory information. These bills throw wide open the doors to DOE data that policymakers and parents should have access to. The granular level data that these bills require will allow us to, to deep dive. M members, I, please. Members, members. Thank you. Uh, the granular level data that these bills require will allow us to deep dive into issues and trends that may be occurring across our public school system, but that we would not know uh, is happening because of a lack of transparency on the part of the DOE. That changes today with these two bills, and I look forward to seeing them become law. And just to give clarity for my colleagues, the administration only recently gave out a number to us as far as citywide enrollment, and they use an excuse to delay the release of that number, citing an October registry or attendance month uh, with the state. Um, they've had access to this attendance from the beginning, um, but we still don't have attendance raw numbers per school at the granular level. Uh, we're also getting information on test consent forms, vaccination per school, critical information that we need that we just have not had access to for quite some time. I want to now thank uh, my staff and the committee staff, and I will now turn to the clerk to call the roll. While we wait for the clerk, uh, just want to note the members that are here, Council Member Riley, uh, see uh, Council Member Borelli, Council Member Gennaro, Council Member Lewis, Council Member Barron, Council Member Levin, Council Member Grudenchik, Council Member Brennan, Council Member Lander, Council Member Cornegie. Okay, and with that, we'll turn it back to the clerk. Good morning, William Martin, committee clerk, roll call vote committee on education. Both items are coupled. Chair Traeger. I vote aye. Lander. Vote aye. Councilmember Lander votes aye. Levin. Aye. Levin votes aye. Councilmember Barron. I vote aye and ask to be added to the legislation. Yes, both of them, thank you. Cornegie. Aye. Kalos. Gordenchik. I vote aye, and I'd like to be added to the legislation as well. Both of them. Thank you. Drum. Aye. So Member Drum votes aye. Brennan. Aye. So Member Brennan votes aye. Lewis. I vote aye on all, want to be added as well. Thank you. You got it. Riley. I vote aye. I would like to be added on both as well. 
Gennaro. Aye. Councilmember Gennaro votes aye. Councilmember Borelli. Oh. Aye. Thank you. One moment. Councilmember Kalos. I vote aye. By a vote of 13, in the affirmative, zero, in the negative, and no abstentions. Both items have been adopted by the committee. Oh, sir, are you doing this? Th thank you. I, I, is, are there any members that are, are outside? I just want to give a few minutes if anyone. Oh, that's it. All right. So this, uh, thank you to my colleagues for your support. And this hearing is, uh, meeting is now adjourned.